Hello everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. Today we are continuing the Australian campaign. Crikey mate. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We had uh, quite a good run. Uh, we took New Zealand out. And we're two years in. I know we've uh, we've gone quite quite quick about it. Or we've been quick about it, rather said. Um, and uh, the war is approaching on Japan, the bastards. Uh, Alexander G. Arc, right, head of state. Look at him. Look at the man. The man that leads this great country. Um, and, um, yes. So that's about it, really. Not much else to say. Uh, we've done uh, lots of things here. We've, uh, we've got 100,000 men already. That's quite a lot, actually. Uh, but then again, two years in. Um, I'm going to try to be a bit uh, slower about it. The, uh, the NCHQ here. Uh, wait a second. It wasn't attached to it. Facepalm. Of course it didn't do anything. Uh, now it knows what to hold and what not to hold, so they're, they'll be on their way there. We'll see if they do anything different. No? Everything's grand? Yeah, great. So, uh, the NCHQ can deal with everything that goes down here. He's got 34,000 men. And they're a bit... Mm, da -da -da. They might rise up, we'll see. But, in time... The unrest will be quelled. And uh, we're building some factories now, and we'll be done just before. This one's going to be a bit on the edge there, to be honest. Um, I think I'll actually abort that one, and I think I'll prepare our military instead. Um, we'll speed things up here a bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, abort it. There we go. Upgrade, spend more on that. It's always important. And we've got some now uh, here. So I think I'll buy or build a few... Convoys um, could be really good to get as well. Lack some in supplies. Um, great, great, great. But I'm I'm looking forward to it. Might station a few troops out here by the Netherlands because as soon as this gets taken, I wonder if the British automatically take it. Um, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, I've got these guys over here. The Huxley, Huxley Waller. British right here, that's nice, that's nice. Japan owns this territory, that's quite funky. I don't think they did that in our vanilla, or when we did Black Ice, right? I didn't have that territory to begin with. Neither did I have this island. They changed a lot of things. Oh, but the war's already over. I'm dumb. Shit. For the past two years, of course it's already over. I usually go with, like, in my Black Ice, let's play before I could, I could delay... Or I could do an episode on, like, two months. But when you've got nothing to do as a country like this right now, I'm just waiting. Eh, it's not much to say, really. But I'm keeping this cool. Whereas... Yeah, I'm keeping these guys down here. And I'm keeping the HQ just here in Cardos. There's nothing there, but... No, actually, I'm, I think I'll pull them down here. Canberra. Like it's keep this guy here in Newcastle. <laughs> the second Newcastle in the world. Perhaps there's more. Got the rest up here. Uh, yeah, the reason why I'm not worried is because the Japanese army will not have an easy time traveling over these areas. There's barely any infrastructure here. I mean, if you look at this, it's going to take months, weeks to get past this. It, it's it's going to be a hell. Perhaps not months, but the here is, is what, I sh what I should protect and up here. I will improve the the um, the infrastructures as soon as I. Oh wow, they need a lot. That is hefty, an amount hefty amount. I'll do it like that. Um, guess guess they want to upgrade our troops. That's good. Convoys are being built as well. I've got twenty plus sixty. I don't know what that plus sixty means. I guess that might be for going to war, or whatever. Seventeen escorts available, so that's good. Um, we're doing a lot of trading here, and uh, since we're part of the allies. Um, we will be able to request lend lease from all these guys here, which will be good. Um, I wish I could use these guys. Uh, by production license, yeah. Ferret MK1. Hmm, it's not a lot of money for a, for a, for an armored car there, that's good. Perhaps some tanks as well. British tanks. Not a bad idea. Uh, let me see here. 
by production license, what could I build? Cruiser tank. Ooh, that's uh, pricey though, to say the least. What would they agree with the least money here? Ten. Ooh, here we go. It's around sixteen here. Well, it's money I don't right, really have right now, so we'll have to wait a bit. But it, it would be nice to have some armor. At least one armor division here in, in Australia. Good, first set of convoys done. More IC, that's great. 20% or 20 IC in total. Consumer goods need some attention now as well. I'm going to balance upgrade and supplies as much as I can. That'll have to do. The upgrades can wait a bit. We need to build up a good stockpile. Uh, we're going green in most of these things, except energy, because we're obviously producing some things. More IC efficiency. That is great. More manpower. Yeah, we're really climbing in manpower now. We're recovering from the recent engagements with uh, New Zealand. Or with what used to be New Zealand. But it's a good increase in, in industrial capacity. From 16 to 20. Not bad. Uh, we own the Samoa Islands here as well. I think the Japanese attacked um, this area, or is it more up here? Because when I saw the Pacific, um, the first episodes uh, took place around here. Or was it up here? I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to sort of try, trying to find out which island group it was, because it was around in that area. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Good, good, good. I see efficiency gone up. Leadership plus 10. That's great. Let's take a look at this here. Yeah, officers of zero because we've got more than we would ever need now in the near future. Diplomacy can go down to zero as well. We'll get more research. Espionage at 0.85. I will have it. That's good. That'll cover the, the, the increase. Have we got any free spies? 15. All right. Intelligence. We're trying to steal some tech here. Um, I think we'll get some from the, the Germans as well. Perhaps from the, the Americans. I mean, why not? Ten spice there. We shouldn't have any free spice anymore now, but that's that's good enough. I'll lower the military espionage now for a bit. Ah! Japanese blueprint stolen, just as we spoke about it. Didn't really see what it was, but it's always good. I see efficiency increase. That's great. Um, money now is going up. Uh, not a lot. I had to like manually disable some trades. Which isn't too good, obviously. There's something we're lacking then, probably. But we're exporting a shit ton of money. What is it that we don't really need to import anymore? 0 0.50, 0 0.35, 0.72. Yeah, the energy is really uh, going down now. But once this industrial capacity is done, we'll have another few. Which is going to be good. Oh, advanced construction engineering. IC plus 7.5%. This is going <laughs> to end up uh, increasing it quite a lot. To be honest, the more it goes up, the, the, the better efficiency we'll have. And we're done. Built all the convoys we need for now. Can spend everything on upgrades for now for a bit. Which is good. Uh, descent is low. Uh, as soon as we hit April now. More IC, that's great. Ooh, here we go. I think the war is about to begin now. People are being invited. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Poland's been invited to the Allies. Um, and the French are at the ready, together with the UK. I wonder if something goes different this time around. I hope Russia just fucking steamrolls the Germans. But they always seem to get steamrolled by the Germans in uh, <laughs> in vanilla. But in Black Ice, they, they, they always sort of force... The, the reality to come through. But, yeah. Japan's going to be a scary power to fight. But uh, 100,000 Australians will defend the homeland. Together with American troops. Will make the difference. 23rd of April. Closing up now. And bam. Viva la bam. Let's, let's deploy this one here. What's Canberra like? It's got nothing. They've got a lot there. They've got three there. Two there. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing on these northern provinces. What about one down here? Melbourne. Oh my god, that's... That's 
a lot. Uh, I've got the RAF of Leverton, tactical bomber. I'm going to land that one up here. It's a bomber, at least. It's, it's not much, but it's a bomber. Uh, industrial capacity. Uh, I think I'll put one here in Canberra. Or was that a bad idea? There's no harbor nearby, but it's our capital, so... Yeah, it's got to mean something. Um, don't think it really, you know, makes a big difference where you put it. I mean, the infrastructure is good enough around these areas anyway, so... Uh, everything will get transported smoothly. And as soon as it gets established, we'll have more in our hands. Wasting some IC? Yes, we are. What do we do? Well, we'll build a destroyer or two. Got a pretty bad navy. It's um, undoubtedly true. Division. Um, I want to build some more light armor. That's a lot of IC there for some armor. Might build them in uh, brigades instead and then just collectively attach them later on. So here's the HM Australian Navy. Uh, five transport ships, two capital ships, heavy cruisers here. HMS Australia. Look at that. Not bad. Got some light cruisers and destroy them. Um, well, we've got to build something, right? We've gone up and everything. Supplies is going down a bit. Uh, anti tank on car. We'll give us some more infantry, I guess. Artillery. Artillery moves down the movability. It's going to be a bit hard having them on the islands back and forth, but it should be fine. Then again, I think I'd rather build brigade attachments now in the future. Reserve armor. Build one of those. It's going to be done this very year. Light Armored Brigade. And I think I'll build me another... two infantry. That'll do. That'll be good. As soon as uh, the other, the rest of the world jumps straight into f to war, um, I think I'll be moving into a war economy, at least. Um, I mean, I'm in with the Allies, so I'm going to automatically be at war with everyone here. Bloody Americans, please join in. The quicker the better. They're at least fully drifted here, so that's good. Can't stop the Allied war machine now. US of A. Allied with the Philippines. Highest threat on Japan. Access in a bit more now, the victory points. They've got Hungary with them. They haven't got Romania with them yet. There we go, just got accepted. Everything's looking like it should look at this time of the, of the world. At least the whole thing is being carried out realistically. Iraq is sat here with a good set of troops. The Italians are always going to push to Alexandria first. But hopefully the British can counter them. Oh, we need a lot on upgrades right now. Damn, son. That is a lot. Because everything's just uh, being put into use now. New weaponry, now that we're approaching the war here. Britain doesn't have a gigantic army here at home. It, it's not actually that many divisions. And they're not already ready for fight. Like, the majority of the troops, like, they've got a lot here. Got a lot of them in India, down here. I could have, not a lot of them. That maybe that was a bit of an, bit of an exaggeration, but. Molotov mm. ribbon drop packed. Pack that we all know is going to be broken. They've got a lot of troops down here actually, um, with the Italian and the Ethiopians. Germany's mobilizing. Uh oh uh oh. France is... Are you at the ready? Hope you can storm storm them. That'd be interesting to see. Alright, the thing is, it costs money to reenact these things. So, I think... That I will put it to... War economy, to be... Or at least full mobilization. But probably war economy, to be honest. Um, when the war hits, that is. I'm only going to be doing it once. Because I don't have the money... To, to to just, like, jump around on different laws. But I'm gaining as much as I can, really. Doing my best. I see efficiency going up again. That's great. Oh, Danzig of War. And it's war. 
And we've gone into war, my friends. I'm now at war with Germany and Slovakia. Japan hasn't been dragged in yet. Interesting, interesting. You can see the Poles retreating now all over the border. The French are preparing over the fight. I hope they're bloody damn ready for it. Resisted as much as they can. The Italians are down here. Belgium is mobilizing. They're at least preparing for the war as well. No, you're mobilizing in the wrong way. Put your troops towards the German border, you nuts. Infantry is going to finish up soon. Japan is mobilizing. Luxembourg is mobilizing. Whatever they have, like 100 men. <laughs> well, they've got a province here. Oh, we lost the transport in the convoy. Shit. Yeah, you see here, yeah, that's when you're going to start dropping transports and escorts down here. That's when it's it's not good, if we put it that way. But we'll see if we can uh, use the British Navy to our use here, and, and hopefully they'll they'll keep the, the German boats off our, off our tails. God damn it, why are they shipping up here? So, take a look at this. Yeah, we're, we're transporting... Transporting things to Denmark. Just a boat. Stop that. Producing convoys just to, to get to fucking Denmark all around the world. Sorry, but that is a bit dumb. I'm going to have to be honest with you guys. I'm sorry, Denmark, but you're about to go under anyways. Um, production. Look at this. Sorry, Denmark, but I cannot have it. I'm losing ships. Over some dumb... Whatever you're selling us, and the other way around. There we go. Won't be losing any more of those now. Ah, as I was saying, we've gone into war now. But I hate to lose much money, uh, which we probably will. Uh, da -da 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 Full mobilization or war economy? That's the question. Well, we're not directly in war, so we'll mobilize. Total economic mobilization. Oh my god. Money minus 50%. So we'd make like 0 0.04 every day. Or does it decrease it even worse? Well, what does it cost? 25 to reenact one of these guys? Well, I'll put it at full mobilization. If it isn't that bad, I can just put it on total economic anyways later on. We should be fine in this state. At least we're going to have our IC increase nicely now. Bam! Look at that. Look at that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Get some more convoys here. Put that at five. Okay. Mm, IC, not anymore for now. Air wing. Could get an interceptor. Would be too bad, but that costs a lot. Hawker Demon. Canada's been accepted. Can now produce Marines, apparently. Why does Poland still bother the Soviets? Well, actually, I think when whatever city... Was it Lvov or something like that? Whenever it fell or something, the Soviets actually took over the, the fight and, uh, and engaged the Poles. Pretty sure it was that city. Oh, they haven't gone in this time. Allo Dept. France is going to allow run a death and trading with us. No, France. I don't have the money myself. Anyways, let's get some of these troops deployed. I know what I'm going to do. Where's my cavalry? You. Worthless cav. I don't know what the hell you're doing here, but... Okay. Name this one the... Second... Australian Cavalry... Division... You... I don't know, do something! Get out of here! Then we'll take these guys. Blow them here to McKay. And they will also get their tank. So it'll all be good.
make some more infantry divisions here. Uh, I think that'll be the last one I'm making for a while now. Now it's gonna remain to see what happens in the world. Okay, is that they're ready? I think they're mobilizing and everything. Starting to produce tons of troops. They got the IC that's required, so the IC is not a problem. Denmark is being invaded now. They've got no troops at the ready. So this will be a fairly quick conquering. And we'll see when they jump on Norway as well. France actually took a province. That's interesting. They took Pierre, Pierre Massons. And when I played as France, I actually took um, took this whole area, which was which was funny. Yeah, they annexed Denmark. I played as France before myself. Yeah, and I took all of this. Sweden is mobilizing, so they're 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 preparing to do something. I'm wondering what, but they're at least mobilizing. So they are, they are, they have something in the in the in the scope. We'll see what it is. Enforcements needed here, but now try and get our upgrades up and running as well. As soon as this light armored is finished, we can uh, deploy it to the uh, cavalry division. Maybe I should name it motorized, but then again, cavalry is no, no, just a modern nick for it as well. Um, I think I'll do that actually. Where are they? Hello, you will be the first Al I Australian. Motorize. No. Mechanize. Mech. I think I, s I, th I hope I spelled mechanized correctly. Mech. Anized. Yeah, I think I did. I should have. I should say otherwise if we go here. Mechanized. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Fair enough. I'll just have to trust myself. Have faith in myself. Yeah. 7th Australian Infantry Division. 8th. These are pretty good. Yeah, they are ready for a fight. They're ready for a fight. They're not very experienced. Uh, but I think we might just have to step it up now. It's advanced training. That'll do. I don't know many country that goes with special... Special Forces training. Whatever it's called. Specialty training or whatever it's called. But... I think most do with advanced. But these Germans are ready to cross over the border now. This is scary stuff to look at. And Soviet and them, they split up. Well, well, well. Interesting, 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 at least. Uh, the British are moving around here as well. Since we're at 1940 now, they're going to move over. Which is going to be a bad day, to be French. Light armoured, uh, put them in the first Australian mechanised. Just going to put them at 3-4 now. Once they gain their organization, I hope for a 4-4 four, four at least, maybe. Light armored, motorized, and infantry. Yeah, it makes for a decent composition, I'm going to be honest. It'll be able to break through at least some people. If we drive fast enough. Upgrades are at the ready, that's great. I want to build more infrastructure. And we finally can. So, let me just, let me just do this now the right way. Don't be shocked, alright? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, God. for fuck's sake. Don't click the C again, Duplex. It's not gonna work. No! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh, that's not what I meant to do, I wanted to increase the infrastructure. Okay, well this is a good thing we haven't started working on it yet. Completely lost it there for a second, thought I couldn't remove it. Here we go, let's build some of that IC, or in, in, uh, infrastructure. It's going to improve a lot of things. Probably won't. No, nah, as I suspected we wouldn't, but... Oh my god. We were that far behind. Jesus Christ. Fair enough. That'll, that'll do. As soon as uh, this infantry division finishes up, 
we'll have enough to, to do it all at the same time. This is good stuff. Plus one, plus two. It's a lot of it, though. But it doesn't take very long. It just takes a few months. But it's all good. This goes over here. <laughs> War hasn't really kicked off yet. The war is well underway, but it hasn't really jumped. Request land lease. Request land lease. Request land lease. Okay, they're not going to give it to me. Poland won't give it to me. The Canada. Possible, but the French and... Uh, the British, I think, I agree to it. So we should see a little lend lease. Yeah, look at that. Look, look at that. Someone wants to take Australia into new heights, or to take it to new heights, rather said. I'm, uh, I'm very thankful for the support. We can build up our infrastructure and in increase our greatness. Let's build a few more of these. Can't really build any escorts yet. We need sea lane defense. We can, however, build a few more air bases, which could come in handy. Uh, a few more naval bases could also come in handy. And we will also continue to increase the infrastructure pretty soon. Look at this. I mean, it's all pretty good. I mean, Europe, yeah, obviously it's good, but Africa and the Middle East here. India. Yeah. Can I get ourselves out of that and have this clean strip here, at least green? Then we can improve the other parts here of the country. That go behind it. Let's put it in this perspective now instead. Get every one of these outlay in here. We'll be able to move through the country swiftly in case of an invasion. Then again, I'm allowing the <laughs> the Japanese to move through swiftly as well. But uh, meh, YOLO. That's a good part. That's a good part that we need to really increase. Nicely right now. Screw it. We'll take it down here as well. I'll do some increase increases down here as well. And why not help the New Zealanders out as well? Down here. It's going to be a big, big project of mine, you see. Increase the speed. Yeah, and of course the island's out there as well. So at least level four or something like that. Yeah, get it up. That's right, that's right. As soon as the US joins, I'm going to be like, please give it a lend lease. Okay, let's can't say no as well. Where's America? Mexico. America. Lindley's from Japan. Please, no. <laughs> please. I bring up my cat eyes. And I'm like, please. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Service. Uh, well, three years draft. Fine, we'll do service by requirement. What else have we got? Massive education. Yeah. Trains me money so much, but it gives me more leadership on a shite, yeah. Censored press. Fair enough. And the other things. He heavy industry? Yeah. We'll have to go with heavy industry emphasis now. Where that even is. There we go. There we go. So the IC should increase quite nicely now from 60. 59. Yeah, decreasing that IC, baby. 60, 59, it's jumping up and down. Supply throughput, more units to be deployed, uh, another f division. Uh, should I have one in here on the far left? I don't think the Japanese are going to go down there anyways. Um, so this is where we can move, basically. The rest, this is so low, we can't deploy troops here. I don't know if I should laugh at that. That one of the home forces come out down here. Sixteen I see. Money's going down the drain. Minus 0 0.01. No, that isn't something I'm uh that I'm worried about, to be honest. 
energy, though, is going down heavily. Um, and you don't want to run out of energy. Well, you might, but... Hey, Norway! You and your oil! Okay, screw it then. Germany's probably invaded them now, or will, very soon. They've got, uh, you know, a few air airplanes, a few brigades of infantry. They can hold off slow for a bit, but nothing for, for a longer time. The British Navy, at least, is just swimming around here in the big pond, cl cleaning it out. Yeah, look at this. Nice increase in infrastructure. That's going to do a lot of good stuff. No AA guns yet, but I'm not really worried over the Japanese Air Force bombing us or anything like that. Getting a sweet IC here with 100%. And as soon as the, the Americans give me IC, oh, that's going to be so sweet. And they will. But for now, let's spectate the situation in Europe. A lot of depth. No, a bit too late for that, to be honest. Oh, come on, you Dutchies held. No. Yeah. Oh. Did they all escape out on the Navy? Oh, wait a minute. This is cool. They're sending what's left of their Navy with a few destroyers. And they have transport ships here. They might be sending them to South America. They probably are. They're probably shipping them straight here. Look, yeah, they have an HQ there now in Curaco. And they got a little uh, Albina here. And they also do own these areas. So I might send some troops here to, to help protect those guys. Look at this infrastructure, man. I'm so proud of it. It's just going to lift us up so much. It's, it's, it's so good. It's going to improve this country in many ways. Rare materials donations from who? Oh, come on. Is it the king in Sweden? Airbase being deployed. Uh, we've got some here. I think we could need... One further up. Ooh. This is about to go down up there as well. I think we could need one up here in Cairns. I've got one more. I've got one here. Got a few bases and ports here and there, really. Got one there. Got some here. Put one down. No, McKay, that's a little too far down. I could, I, I'll have one on Admiralty Islands up here. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> May 1940. Uh, they're coming in from the top now. Everything's pre pretty much being reenacted. Interesting, interesting. Stab in the back. Oh, yeah. Sea lane defense, baby. And did the allies join? Or the Americans? No? Not yet. Well. See, they're exiled. I see, I see, I see. Tactical air power, folks. Oh, we're losing money quite heavily right now. What are we exporting? To Japan for supplies? Fuck off. Netherlands. Don't decrease my money, don't you dare. 45 now, as soon as these guys finish up. Now in August. We're going to have a lot over to, to produce more things with. How does it look down here? Japan has not engaged. They don't have any troops down here, I guess. But they're actually not invited to the war yet. They're simply not at war with anyone. They will be invited pretty soon, as soon as they attack Pearl Harbor. So, was that not in December or something like that? 11th? Can't exactly remember, to be honest. But it was... Or may maybe it was 9th. But it was, like, around Christmas, I think. Pretty sure. Then again, it was, like, all summer down there. And here in Sweden, when you think of that, it's going to be all bloody snow everywhere. Alright, the, the French are pretty much fucked. The fall of France and the Vichy Regime. Their finest hour. It's now in Britain. They're your finest hour. 
Invite the bloody Yankees. Or Yanks or whatever. Sorry, I'm gonna nickname everyone here. There's no, there's no stopping it. <laughs> Production pack. The Vichy France. Just in towards the Allies. That's good, that's good. Minus 33 towards the Axis. Yeah, they don't really like them, do they? Don't worry, we'll have you liberated soon enough. Just start your war on the Eastern Front now already. That would be a pretty display. Siam is mobilizing. Maybe that's what I should have done, simply just taken this all. No, I won't allow Dep Norway. It's a cute idea, but I won't allow it. Trondheim is being attacked now. Narvik is going to get attacked as well. Sweet stuff, sweet stuff. It's going to be some combat soon here, so they're sending their troops down. Guys, I think we are pretty much done for now. I'm just going to let this first batch of... Uh, watch this. From this... To that. And that's, this is going to improve in color pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Bam, look at that. All being deployed. Did that just turn green, or... Was it like that already? I don't know, but it, it's good stuff. Yep, look at that. Shit, it's getting darker and darker. I like that shit. Now we're gonna need less icy, but we're still producing like crazy over here. These guys are gonna finish up in December. I think we'll do this year out at least. We can do that with the time for that. I don't mind a bit of a long episode. Uh, these guys are over here. Can't do much, much else anyways. The Italians are going in on the British and Iraqis down here. The Greeks joined us. They're being attacked now by the Italians. They could probably hold them back, like, they've got a decent amount of troops. But, I think once you let them in, they're gonna swarm in. I think Germany's preparing up for the war on the Eastern Front now, that's gonna start in 1941. So it's a matter of, um, matter of months, and shit's gonna break down. Bulgaria has been accepted into the Axis. Alright. Bad news, I presume. Bulgaria is mobilizing. Might want to try and snatch some of these territories, but they're probably not at war with them. As I suspected. Germany conquered on Norway. Whoopsie. Well, everything's playing out like it should. Labour Party has been elected again. I can deploy some more naval bases wherever I now would need those. I have them pretty much everywhere around this place. Um, da -da -doom. Looking good down here. I think I'll deploy one on the tip here in Somerset. And I'll also get one. Hmm. I see it as a more invasional possibilities, which is bad on that behalf, I guess. Get one down here. For some reason, we had lots of icy here, so. Yeah, I'll get one down there. Uh, I'll also improve the infrastructure here. It's absolutely horrible. So that they can at least move along. Or get along, I presume. Uh, finally, all the production can be done now without uh, lacking anything. Presum presume we'll start some escorts. That's great, that's great. So, anyways, yeah, we're we're gonna hit November. We'll go to November. Fine, fair enough. And we'll stop there. That's around 40 minutes. Greece is gonna fall as well. American blueprint blueprint stolen. Paratroopers. That's great. 1940 already. Shit. We're early with the paratroopers, aren't we? Because the Americans have them as well. I don't know why we can see these provinces. Chesky Tessin. Hmm. Odd. Maybe I should get some radar once I can. That'd be interesting. Lower this a bit here. Hmm. We're researching some pretty good stuff. Fire control system and all that stuff. Basic machine gun. Aircraft machine guns. Anti-tank weapons could be useful as well. Anyways guys, we've hit November already. Just time flies by in this game. Uh, the British have pretty much wiped out the Italian presence in South and Africa, which is surprisingly good. And I think we'll pause it here. We'll save it. 
and I will see you guys the next time. So until then, enjoy, and we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>